welcome back. I am SL6241. You are watching the Honest Gamer play Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, so far, we've been doing, I think, okay, because remember, I've never played this game, read anything about it, watched anything about it, so this is all just me going through it for the first time. Uh, last time, we got turned loose in the prison cell, and... <laughs> have like one big ugly down here with us and I've ran out of lamp oil and I need to find some sort of glass jar beaker some sort of container I'm pretty sure I need acid in the kitchen that I found to get through this like corroded padlock on one of the doors so we're gonna have to do this kind of James Bondy style because I have uh, <laughs> no way to see anything Unless there's already light there. So, um, we may have got to a point in the game where I may have screwed myself. But, let's find out. So, back to the game. Pretty sure this is the only way I haven't went yet. Oh, great. Can't see anything. No, don't kill her. Ooh, that's probably a good sign. I got something talking to me. Come on. Readjust. There we go. Yeah, I have no tinder boxes either, so I'm just kind of. Ah. Okay, excellent padlock. So we are going to kind of systematically do this. What I mean by systematically do this is if I keep turning one direction I should eventually run into where I need to be. So, I kind of came in from the left, so let's just kind of keep going left. Might be the easiest way to do this. Nothing I can go in over here. Kitchen, yeah, we've we've been in the kitchen before. Come on. Oh well, okay. Here's another left passage. Woo! There's an ugly. I don't even know if I should be hiding or what. Probably gonna come right around the corner and get killed. We'll find out. Let's just sneak in a room here. Maybe I can find. Oh, hey, there's a tinder box at least. So this is good. We haven't been here before. Yay. Bad news is there's nothing to light on fire, so let's August, read the diary. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for kind of a moment, nightmares usually I forgot do. where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams oh, and I asked me to, go to join him in the guy. parlor. This is probably not going to be a good thing. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell okay. me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. Ooh. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within. And if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything. Well, just in give its it path back the orb, then. The orb. That's the easy way to I settle said this. I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be mm. a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. I don't know. Having the orb. I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. Sounds a little I asked fishy Alexander me. what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at Ooh, a price. But at a price. Very nice, very nice. We'll have to stay here in the light, regain my sanity. Hopefully Big Ugly doesn't come to get me. Come on. 
sanity back here. Oh my. Come on, I'm standing in the light. Let's go. Oh, crap. Well, I, I, I think I'm going to die. I don't know. We're going to find out. Because I have nothing, I have no way to regain sanity, just health. And oh, oh, damn. I really wish I had some lamp oil. Oh, fuck! That son of a bitch is ugly. Holy. Balls. Oh my god, that's fast. What the hell? Oh. You have to carry on. So I'm just supposed to run? Oh. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank God. We got some lamp oil. Hey, maybe it's a good thing that I died then. Where am I? Oh, hey, this is where I died. Sweet. I don't know... Where Big Ugly is. Yes, I realize I'm using all my lamp oil. Storage. Alright, I got one left, so I gotta kinda save that for an emergency. No, open. Oh, that looks like oil and tinderbox. Oh, man. So exciting. I got a tinderbox. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's shiny. Oh. Alright. That's an unusual shiny, though, so I don't want to quite pick that up yet. Okay. Is there anything else in here? That's not a good treasure chest. That's one that doesn't do much anything. Okay, so, oh, sweet, glass jar, okay. Glass jar is good. I'm half expecting Big Ugly to be like right up here. Ah, shit. Well, at least we have light in this room. So I'm not going to go crazy while I'm trying to hide from Big Ugly. So hopefully, ah, ah, keep our fingers crossed. He'll just kind of go on his merry way and leave me alone and do whatever it is that ugly thing does. Because, wow, you know, he's, that's just, woof. I mean, come on, buddy. I could sit in here all day. Be very, very boring, but I could do it. How's my sanity right now? Out of curiosity. Oh, not too bad. Actually, I honestly think dying was about the best thing that could have happened. Because I got a tinder box and I got some lamp oil. Well, I don't hear the thump, 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 thump. So... Gonna go on out and very quietly go up to the top and peek. I don't see anything. Let's go this way. 
Okay. Oh, okay. That's the exit. Oh, I gotta go right past Big Ugly. Crap. Okay. A little glitch in the game there. Okay, so the one on the right is opened. Okay, so I need to get back to the kitchen. kitchen. So we're going to follow the signs. I wonder this kind of on-off stuff. I don't remember where the kitchen's at now. Does it sit down here? No, okay. But we can do that, throw big ugly off the path. Okay, where was the kitchen? Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Okay, here we go. Polina. Okay, I gotta go this way. Probably shouldn't take off running. Save some lamp oil. Okay. Kitchen. Hey, all right, that didn't take too long. Big ugly. Oh, great. He's coming in the door. That's. Yay! It's in the room with us. Timmy, what type of dinosaur is that? It's a velociraptor. It's in the room with us. Alright. Sorry, I had to get the Jurassic Park out of my system. It's kind of what it reminded me of was Jurassic Park a bit. I want to peek and see if uh, Big Ugly's out of the room yet, but I also don't want to because he hurts. I don't think I'm going to get as lucky as I did last time and get a bunch of free stuff for dying. Using kind of the music as the cue to when to kind of peek around the corner, but okay, he's gone. That's good. All right, we got acid. Jar of acid filled with acid. Now I have to race. Big Ugly to the bad, I'm assuming the rusty padlock. The bad padlock, whatever it said it was. So, this might be easy. It might be, oh, that's a, okay, that is a mouse. For some reason, I was thinking that was a hand crawling across the floor. <laughs> yeah, don't ask, I don't know why. Hmm. Which way was it? Don't know why I'm sneaking. I'm sure sneaking doesn't really have anything to do with it. Maybe she knows. It won't budge. Good padlock. Okay, that's where I came up. All right, so far, I don't, no sign of Big Ugly. Okay, 
so we'll just take this very methodically one little bit at a time okay that's storage let's go this way I think this may have been the way Could be wrong. No, this is where I got the blast jar. Crap. Yes, I'm like nearly positive this is where I got the glass jar. Yes, this is where I got the glass jar. Guess what? I'm starting to run out again, people. Yeah. You, uh, you guessed it. I'm starting to run out of oil again. But hey, it's just, like I said, slow and methodical is how we're going to have to take this. Because we will eventually... run in we just keep taking the same path we will run into what we could not open gosh. oh I was already over here gosh dang it I am terrible I turned the wrong way I'm terrible terrible okay we're gonna get through this part. As long as Big Ugly doesn't find me. Big Ugly finds me. We're gonna have a bad day. No, no, we went this way already. I went this way. It was not the correct way. then fuck ha oh get through this cistern okay I didn't realize he's gonna keep trying to slam the door at me Whew. that's right we got this we got this ain't no sweat I don't know if the game's supposed to be doing that Ah, ow! Bright light. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. All right. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. It takes shower here. Ah, oh, sewer shower. Mm. Not today. Beautiful. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. Oh boy. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come this way instead. We're almost there. Yay, poisonous mushrooms. So it's ow, it's a good thing. Oh, I hate that when it goes like that. Okay. Well, hey, big ugly. <laughs> that can stop chasing us. I knew it would. Totally knew it would. Um, that looks bad. Ah, crying out loud. I am out. I might pull it. That it's not going to be this easy. I know it, but let's pull it. All right, I need to get grease. Apparently, came in over there, and the blood drippy trail thing ends here. So I could go in there, or I could go. There. What I need, however, is some form of lamp oil. Because yet again, I am 
out of lamp oil. Apparently I can't fit in there, see what's underneath it. So... Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk to the wall, and we're gonna end the episode as we get to the door. Because it's already been about 20 minutes. Sorry that one took me a little bit. I uh, just had a kind of no map of the area, so I just kind of kept running around, trying not to get caught by Big Ugly. But hey, we got through it. Kind of got lucky where we got spawned back to life and got a tinderbox and some lamp oil. We now have enough tinderboxes to just out of lamp oil, <laughs> as usual. Uh, but, you know, so far, still, still enjoying it. Like I said, I'll go through more in-depth analysis when I finish the game. And I think the last episode I was actually kind of I went a little more in depth as to kind of why I was liking it, why I wasn't liking it. But I'm pretty sure, like I said at this point, that the game itself is just making you think that there's a bunch of monsters when there are actually is probably very few monsters. But I, I don't know, I could be wrong. But if you like what you're seeing, go ahead, share it with people. You know, Facebook, uh, Google Plus, if people use that, um, Twitter. All that sort of fun stuff. Subscribe here on YouTube to me. I try to get something up every day. It doesn't always happen. But if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Like the videos. Comment on the videos. Get your buddies. Have them like, subscribe, comment. You know, aunt, uncles, whoever. Whoever. Get them liking, get them subscribing so we can get this off the ground. Get this entertaining for you guys because, you know, we don't have 7 million viewers. We've got eight subscribers and however many people kind of stumble across the videos right now so you guys can help kind of shape the way this channel goes but if you already have done all that you obviously can't do it again but what I can do is thank you for doing so it's really awesome that you are spending your time with me letting me entertain you you get to see me do some of this crazy stuff in this game but please 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 share the channel with people Share some videos with people. Let me know what you want to see next. Because if nobody lets me know what they want to see next, I just get to choose a random game. So it'll be probably Call of Cthulhu. Or sorry, not Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu Saves the World. If you don't know it about it, didn't watch the last episode. It's essentially, I think, classic pre-Final Fantasy VII Final Fantasies. But Cthulhu, instead of driving everybody mad, gets his power taken away and to get back he has to go and become a true hero. But once again, thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And remember, I can quit anytime I want, but where is the fun in that? Good night, everyone.